Greetings, every pony. My name is Arcanum Fantasy, and welcome to the very first episode of The Arcanum Files. Today, I thought we'd start with something light. Therefore, today's topic is the mirror pool, as seen from the episode Too Many Pinkie Pies. Now, from that episode, we can, obta- we can ascertain that the mirror pool is a unique lake with the ability to create multiple duplicates of whoever is crazy enough to activate its powers, usually doing so through some sort of poem while entering into the waters. The end result essentially being a I suppose you could say flanderized version of the of of the original. This can be often seen as a direct reference to the legend of mirrors themselves, seeing as mirrors are often thought to be doorways both to the mind and soul, as well as alternate paths in reality. a very powerful and ancient magic, to say the least, but not necessarily dangerous. Although, much like what we observed in the episode Too Many Pinkie Pies, such power has a tendency to go wild, if not completely controlled and restrained by... well, I can't really say intelligence, more like wisdom. Instead of Pinkie Pie having unleashed her swarm of duplicates upon Ponyville, she should have tried to educate them. In other words, invite some wisdom. Of course, Pinkie Pie probably didn't see this as much of a threat, as I'm sure a lot of us would have assumed at the beginning. This story also seems to bring true the legend of the doppelganger, in the fact that, much like Pinkie Pie, these copies did not know for sure whether they themselves were duplicates or the original. Again, linking not only to the legend of the doppelganger, which easily replaces this look-alike, often with its original being dead as a result, but also back onto the mirrors being a symbol of understanding one's own identity. It's also interesting to note that the mirror itself is a relatively circular shape, although this is rather obvious after all, in this case it is a pond. However, the form of a circle also holds a great significance. And the fact that a circle is symbolized for infinity. It can also stand as a containment, much like how magic circles are used to contain demons or spirits unless they are let out of said confinement much like how when Pinkie Pie enters the pool and exits again with a duplicate. She is inviting this other self, this other version of herself to leave the confinement of the mirror pool and take shape in this world. Of course, returning said duplicate to the mirror pond was not exactly a pleasant-looking ordeal. However, I feel that it was more than appropriate, seeing as we could easily see these different Pinkie Pies not so much as clones or replicas, but alternate versions of herself. What do I have to support this theory? Quite simple, really looking at the mirror that works as a portal in the Equestria Girls movies. The mirror itself 
circular and leads to another dimension, another world, in which Twilight herself is human and her friends live a different lifestyle, as well as being of a different species. while at the same time retaining quite a few of their pony counterparts' abilities, personalities, and lifestyles. All in all, the mirror pool could be either one of two different things. A replicating portal that creates countless duplicates of oneself, much like how a mirror creates a reflection of the one watching it. Or, a gateway to multiple different universes and countless dimensions that has the ability to randomly drag said alternate versions of oneself into the reality of the portal itself, but as ponies. I believe that would be for us, the fandom, to completely decide. Well... That is all for this recording, my friends. Like, comment, subscribe, and do be a dear, and stop by my Patreon account to give a tiny donation. After, after all, every little bit helps. And also, for those who do, so, those who do donate, I will provide a special service in the form of doing a fanfic review of any fanfic of the of the first donator's choice. Afterwards, names will be put into a raffle, and I shall choose the name based on that raffle. Bear in mind, I will only review fanfics that are complete or mostly complete. And with that, I must say good night, my friends. Sleep well. <laughs>